Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two high-performance coolers, the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo. First, the AK620. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. The Arctic Freezer provides a sleek look to any setup with a single tower design with two 120mm fans. This cooler features four exposed heat pipes and also offers various color accents to your build, including black, white, red, and yellow. Next up is the AK620, which has a sleek and polished look with a clean top that hides the cooler's six heat pipes. The AK620 features a dual tower design with two 120mm fans. However, the AK620 only comes in two looks, an all black zero dark design and its regular version with silver accents. However, the AK620 is known to have fan issues in the mid RPMs. In regards to installation, the AK620 is a breeze to install. However, the Arctic Freezer's novel installation design can prove to be challenging at times, but we know you're here to see how these two coolers perform, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts, normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer in blue performs the same as the AK620 in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the AK620 outperforms at the lower RPMs, but this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the fans approach 60% fan speed. Additionally, the Arctic Freezer is slightly quieter across the board for a given percent speed, and as we pump the heat up to overclock levels of 125 watts, we can see that the AK620 slightly outperforms across the board. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, both coolers continue to perform similarly, and as we pump the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the AK620 begins to outperform at the higher noise levels. And as we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that the AK620 extends its lead. And if you're curious on how the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo does against one of the best budget coolers, the Peerless Assassin 120SE, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.